Most evolutionists have never critically examined their own position. It's such a sacred cow, even in their own minds, it's unthinkable to start examining the weaknesses. Natural selection plus mutation actually works in the wrong direction for evolution. So the question is, how does evolution work? So genetic entropy is profound. It means that things are going down, not up. The human race should be devolving, not evolving. Even if every atom in the universe was an experiment for every possible molecular vibration of a supposed billions of years of time, you would never get one protein, let alone hundreds, let alone the DNA, to actually code for them. This period of inflation, as it's called, starts for no particular reason and it stops for no particular reason. And by the way, during it, gravity has to work in reverse. The basic features of the fossil record, sudden appearance. There's an absence of transitions leading to the first appearance of a particular kind of animal. From what was learned at Mount St. Helens, we can now understand that there's all sorts of geological processes that can happen in the blink of an eye. Cobalt-60, cesium-137, silicon-32, and radium-226 do indeed vary with time, which of course would invalidate the calculated ages. Now, that doesn't mean that atheists are amoral, but it means their morality is not based upon any fundamental truth. So, if evolution is true, many honest evolutionists acknowledge there is no rational basis for morality.